In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best defense in Madden 21 when defending the bunch tight end, and we're going to show you how to stop it. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better at uh, Madden 21. So if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. We upload videos every single day that can help you get better on both the offensive and defensive side of this game. Now in this video, we're specifically talking about our nickel 335 wide defense. We're gonna be going over some specific defenses. We're actually gonna be talking about the cover four show two in this video and how to use this to really um, do a decent job at stopping one of the best offenses in Man 21 in the bunch tight end. So if you wanna get my entire 335 wide defensive guide, I am gonna be leaving a link in the description for you. Um, that way you can get access to all of the videos um, or all of the uh, schematics behind it, the entire system, the entire guide. And again, if you want to get that defensive guide, you can get that for just uh, $15 in the description. But for the bunch tight end specifically, this is how we're going to set up our defense. Um, you're going to see here we have auto flip on. We have auto alignment set to default. Ball and air defense to play receiver. Option defense on conservative. Flats are on 30. Curl flats are on 10. And hook curls are on five this is kind of the starting point for how we're going to want to play defense now we want to come out in the cover four drop and we're going to audible into the three three five wide cover four show two it's going to look just like this right here the first adjustment we're going to do is we're going to shift our defensive line to the right side we're always going to blitz our user kind of right in this little pocket right here we want the blitz angle to be coming down into the center we don't want that right there we want it to be right like that and then we're going to put our defensive end on the right, which is over to the which is um, over the top of the tight end. We're going to put him on a bluff blitz um, so that he goes on to a three rack hook, just like this right here. And then basically, what we're going to do, um, what we're going to do is essentially play uh, Mabel coverage, but we're going to play in a little bit of a unique way. So we're going to on the right side uh, play cover two. So you're going to see that right there. Uh, we put the corner into a soft squat and we put the outside safety on the right into a deep half. And then on the left side, what we're going to do is we actually are going to go ahead and essentially play, you know, kind of the defense that we have right here. But the way that we're going to do this is we're actually going to take the linebacker on the left side of the screen and we're going to man him up onto the square receiver just like this right here. This is what the defense looks like. And what you're going to notice is this is going to do a pretty daggone good job against um, PA boot over and things like PA boot over. Now, if you wanted to, you could also just man this guy up onto the triangle receiver. Um, I like manning him up onto the square receiver, but you can do either one and be successful. In the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is we're just going to basically uh, kind of use the underneath, and you're going to see that the defense is going to really do a good job against PA boot over, one of the best passing concepts in the entire game. Now, the next thing that the, the uh, bunch tight end is going to try to do is they're going to try to do something like running a play um, like mesh. Okay, so they're going to try to run something like this. Uh, this is going to do a decent job against that as well. So, um, again, this is why we like to man up the square receiver on this play. But as you can see, we've got the cover two set up. And the snap of the ball, um, you're going to see here that the square receiver is really not able to be – you're really not going to hit that. As you can see, we're able to able to do a pretty doggone good job at stopping that. Now, if you want to stop, if you want to stop the play, um, if you really want to stop some of the outside flooding that you can see from this formation, if you turn both sides into a cover two, the biggest thing you're going to have to watch out for is you just don't want to get beat up the seams. So that's kind of your user responsibility. If you see something, you know, jetting up the seams. You want to take that, but if they go to a play like tight end corner, you know, maybe do something like that right there. What you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, you're just going to use her kind of right in here, and you'll see that the triangle receiver gets taken away. Um, you know, pretty much taken away everything that they really want to do. Every popular setup from bunch tight end is really taken away with something like this, okay? 
So that's the beauty of the 3 through 5 wide. Again, the setup's really simple. All we're doing is we're shifting our defensive line to the right, putting essentially setting up a cover 2 on the right side with a 3 rack hook zone. The reason we like that 3 rack hook is because if they run something like PA boot over, then um, you're going to see, you're going to have a lot of success with a 3 rack hook zone uh, on this play. And then the other thing is like if they run something like a little motion and post, um, you have the cover four on that side for you to be able to handle that. But again, if we just roll out here, you know, if I try to release this, and you see, I mean, the pass rush is so daggone good, it's hard to even get the ball off. But let me just show you the, let me just show you the, um, what the three red cook does to uh, the, the, the delay fade. So again, I'm just going to be like right in here, but I'm just, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to, you know, do something like this maybe and kind of spy these guys off just so you can see it so again delay fade and i'm just gonna roll out of the pocket roll out of the pocket and right there my guy i don't know why my guy fell down he, sh he doesn't normally do that he'll normally sit right on it it might have been i might make you need to make sure that you pass him as well when you're playing this formation um it's actually super super important but again we'll just kind of set this up just like so and we'll leave this guy we'll leave these guys blitz him but we really want to pass commit. And you'll see right here. See how he'll kind of stay on the tight end. See that right there? He'll kind of sit like right down on him. Um, so he'll be able to take that away. But anyways, that is how you stop the bunch tight end with the 3-3-5 wide defense. If you want my entire 3-3-5 wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video. It will literally teach you and walk you through step by step how to have a dominant defense in Madden 21. You can get that down in the description for just $15. Thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the video.